How will taking advantage of all that life has to offer allow you and your superhero to level up? I like to call it the buffet of life, right? You know, when you go to a buffet, you get to see all this different stuff. Well, life's the same way. All of our experiences are that buffet. And when you go through experiences, there's no failure or there's no real successes. It's called contrast. So the essence of this whole video is about contrast. What things do we need to expose ourselves to in order to learn, is this something that we gravitate towards and we're having fun with and we want to pursue the desire of that? Or we realize we don't want that. So that's the great thing about contrast. A true successful hero, they don't see failure, they see contrast. Because what's contrast do? Going back to that whole buffet analogy, if I go and do something in my life, I'm either going to have two responses. This was cool. I like this. Or, nah, it wasn't for me. So when we ask people, if you're watching this, and they say, well, what do you want to do? What's your next act? And you say, well, I don't know. Well, number one, you need to remember what it is. But some of us, we may not know because we never gave our Ourselves a chance to see what else is out there. So come over here. I, I use the analogy of like a buffet. So when I go to a buffet, or when we go to a buffet, what do you do? You get a plate and you try a little bit, a little bit of a little bit of everything, right? And then what do you find? You'll eat something and you're like, wow, that was really good. Then you'll eat something like, yeah, definitely not. So you try different things because if I just ate chicken and rice every single meal, how am I gonna know what other things I like? So I think a lot of times in life through, again, through society and through schools and all these things, we're living other people's values. They're telling us what we need to eat or what we, how we need to live our lives or what job we need to get, but we never really give ourselves, our hero, a chance to understand what we really like and appreciate in life. So it's just really like a buffet. So you go through the buffet, so this might be, you know, like Justice, he tried karate and then he tried acting and he tried computer and he's gonna try piano. And so in life, you try different things and then if Justice, he liked, he liked karate, it's something he really enjoyed, he got more energy, he had a lot of fun with it. So what do we do? We go back for seconds and then we go back for thirds and then when you know you like it, you fill the plate up with it. Same thing in life. So we have to try different things. So let's start with kids. So for Justice, my son, we're doing that now in life. So Justice, he likes something. When he says, Dad, I don't like it anymore, fine. We try something else. But when I find his obsession, then we, we go all in on that one and fuel that. Well, now when you're 40 and you're looking for your next thing, well, how do you do it? Start reading books on different subjects. What are the things that you always wish you could do? Start looking at that. Or give yourself something to do, something different each and every week. Watch a video that's on something different. Uh, do an activity that's different. And this is how you know you nailed it. When you do it, you have a lot of fun. You feel, wow, I could do this. Or when you're doing it, time flies by. You have more energy at the end of it. You wake up the next day and you, you yearn for that again. That's the buffet of life. So you go through life and you start picking out, let me try that. And when you try something and you don't like it, it's not a failure. If you do something and, and, and it ends not the way you want, it's not failing, it's called contrast. We need to do things that we fall on our face to realize that didn't work or I don't like that. Because if I do something that I don't, if I eat something that I don't like, guess what? It makes me really focus on the things that I want, do like. So that's why if you find something that doesn't work or you don't like it, it just allows you to learn more about yourself on the things that you do like. So in the buffet of life, start choosing things. Say, ah, I don't like that, or I really like that, and then you go deep on the things you like. And another thing in a buffet of life what I like to do, sometimes, like, I'll mix the chicken with the vegetables with uh, that cauliflower there. And so I might take two or three things, mix them together, and now symbiotically they create something new and amazing, a different recipe. So sometimes in life, you find trades you like or skills you like, and then you marry them. So you find a couple things you like, you marry them, and you actually create an entirely different category 
and that's when a lot of magic starts to happen on that. So when we talk about the buffet of life, this is exactly what we're talking about. You have to go try a couple different things. If you have kids, make them try everything and then go all in on the things they are attracted to. But as adults, try different things. Find the things you don't like, great. Now if I, I find out what I don't like, I know what I do like more. The ones, the things I do like, I'm having fun, I get excited. I go all in and allow the journey to take you to be able to live that heroic life by doing something that you were truly created to do.